Okay, hello. Hello. So just let's start today class. In the last class, we already discussed electrochemical energy storage device. Okay. That means we have already discussed about the electrochemical energy storage device in the previous class and web three. Okay. Today we are going to discuss some another types of energy storage system. That means uh, magnetic and electric energy storage system. So first, first of all, share the screen, and then we will start today class. Okay. So today we are going to discuss. magnetic and electric energy storage system magnetic and electric energy storage system energy storage we already discussed some various type of uh, types of technology of energy storage system uh, in the previous class we already discussed electrochemical energy storage system today we are going to discuss magnetic and electric energy storage system okay. so under this we are going to discuss some superconductor magnetic energy storage system and next one is your capacitor battery we already discussed in the previous class that means electrochemical battery so under the magnetic energy storage device first one we are going to superconducting magnetic energy super conducting magnetic energy storage system magnetic energy storage system storage system we will write in short way s m e yes super conducting magnetic energy and next one is your capacitor so super conducting magnetic energy magnetic energy storage system energy storage system s m e s is your 
सुपर कंडक्टिविटी सुपर कंडक्टिविटी रेटिंग What is the superconductivity? That means the metal and alloy suddenly lost the resistivity or uh, resistance to the flow of electricity when they cool below certain value temperature. That is known as the superconductivity, or uh, that means the resistance value is very low. Uh, superconductivity in that uh, material we can store the energy below which they becomes the superconductivity when the temperature is low the cool so the metal and alloy the metal and alloy Suddenly, loss essential all resistance to flow the current. Uh, suddenly, loss essential all the resistance. Loss essential. All resistance to the flow of electricity, or resistance to the flow of electricity, to the flow of electricity, When cool below cool below very low temperature. The low temperature. The temperature below which temperature Below which they become superconductivity. They become superconductivity. Temperature is known as the critical temperature. That means at that particular temperature, where the resistance uh, almost equal to the <coughs> zero. So the temperature is known as critical temperature. Thank you. 
teacher is known as critical temperature. Critical temperature. S M E S M E S are the electric and magnetic energy storage device. Electric and magnetic energy storage device. Magnetic energy storage device storage device. It convert electrical energy into magnetic energy and magnetic energy to electric energy. It convert electrical energy into magnetic energy. Electrical energy into Magnetic energy and magnetic energy into electrical energy. Magnetic. energy into electrical energy electrical energy that means you may be say that electrical energy when supply given to the magnetic circuit, during that period, electrical energy converted into the magnetic energy that is known as charging period when the supply given to the coil. And when supply is disconnected, uh, that means whatever the energy is stored in the magnetic uh, form, that energy you may be used uh, during the discharging. That means uh, when the supply is disconnected and through that magnetic circuit, you have to connect load. So during that period, supply is given through the magnetic circuit. Okay. So one times when the uh, charging period consider during that period, the electrical energy uh, converted into the form of magnetic energy. And when the supply is disconnected from that coil, that means the superconductivity material. Uh, and uh, through that load, uh, through that uh, magnetic energy, whatever you can uh, convert from the electrical energy can be used during the discharge period. Okay, so this may be say that oh, one time is charging and one time discharging. So during the charging period, electrical energy is converted to magnetic energy, and during the discharging period, magnetic energy is converted to electrical energy. Yeah. So maybe uh, so here, that means uh, 
in the form of just like I did. I suppose that uh, we can draw here. And given that means Zero one, and this is your two. Uh, suppose we can represent uh, electrical energy in this form. Here we will write down electrical energy electrical energy So just like as if, so in this form means uh, charging. Yeah. So during the charging period, it convert into the magnetic energy convert into the magnetic energy this is something like this one Magnetic energy. Yeah. And Magnetic energy during the discharging period converted into the electrical energy. Magnetic energy During the discharging period, it converts the magnetic energy into electric energy. Mm 
charging discharging converted into electrical energy electrical energy So SMECA, SMES, is an energy storage system that stored energy in the form of electricity by passing the current through the superconductivity materials. So we already defined few minutes earlier, which one is known as the superconductivity at a particular uh, temperature when the flow and the resistance becomes is almost negligible okay so is a energy storage device that has stored energy storage system That are stored energy in the form of electricity. What I have explained. A stored energy storage system that stored energy energy in the form of electricity by passing the current through the superconductivity coil. <laughs> Stored energy in the form of in the form of electricity by passing the current through the superconductivity coil by passing the current through the superconductivity coil. Superconducting coil. Superconducting coil. And stored in the form of magnetic field when the coil is charging. And stored in the form of Stored in the form of magnetic field when the coil is charging. These things are already shown through this block diagram also. Okay, that means the electrical energy when the charging 
stored in the form of magnetic energy. But when the discharging period, magnetic energy converted into the electrical energy, that things just right here, whatever I have shown in the block diagram, okay, in the form of magnetic field. Magnetic field in the coil is charging. In the coil is charging. Next one is your, the stored energy can be released back to the connected power system by converting the magnetic energy into the electrical energy when the coil is discharging. So the stored energy, the stored energy can be released back to connected power system, whatever the energy is stored during the Charging period it can be released back to the power system. Connected power system. By converting the magnetic energy into electrical energy when the coil is discharging. By converting the magnetic energy into electrical energy, the magnetic. energy into electrical energy electrical energy and the quality discharge okay Quietly discharging, whatever I have shown here in the form of figure. In the quietly discharging. The conductor for carrying the current operates at uh, cosmic temperature when it becomes the superconductor and thus has virtual uh, no resistance losses uh, as we produce the magnetic field. So the conductor for carrying the current, the conductor for carrying the current, <coughs> current operator carrying <coughs> the current operate, uh, operates the <coughs> current operates at cosmic temperature at Cryogenic, cryogenic temperature at 
temperature. Then it becomes superconductor. Then it becomes become superconductor. Conductor and thus virtually no resistive losses as thus it produce the magnetic field and thus. Has no actually resistive losses. And no losses, no resistive loss, A resistive loss. as it produces the magnetic field. Uh, resistive loss as it produces the magnetic field. Okay. Resistive loss as it produces the magnetic field. As it produces the magnetic field. Magnetic field. Okay. Now, in the next, we just discuss what are the component consist in the SMES. What are the various component consist in the SMES? Components of SMES system are components of SMES system are System are one is your superconductor coil, magnet, and protection in a circuit. First one is your Superconduction coil Superconduction coil Conduction coil and protection set coil magnet magnet and protection circuit. So this is your first component. Okay. Protection circuit. Protection circuit. The next one is your transformer rectifier and firing circuit. Transformer transformer. Inverter and firing circuit. Inverter.
and firing circuit. Firing circuit. Okay. And next one is your refrigerator vacuum pump and helium. Next one is your refrigerator. Refrigerator. Vacuum pump. Vacuum pump. And helium tank. And helium tank. And last one is your DSP microcontroller and rectifier circuit. DSP or microcontroller. Next one is your DSP or microcontroller. Micro. Controller. Okay. And throw this one just uh, what is consist here a superconducting coil with magnet. Maybe superconducting coil with magnet. More specific in this work. Superconducting coil with magnet. Superconducting coil. Conducting coil with magnet. With the magnet. With the magnet, magnet. Next one is the power conditioning system. The power conditioning system. Conditioning system. system means your PCS next one is your the cryogenic system the control unit the cryogenic system the Cryogenic system. And last one is your the control unit. Okay. That means you will be specify these things in this form. Super condition coil that means superconducting coil with the magnet. Cryogenic system, power conditioning system, and last one is your control unit. Okay. Control. Unit. Unit. So this component we will discuss one by one in the next class. So these are the main component consist under the SMES.
What is the same is with your superconduct you know, magnetic energy storage system? Okay. So, under the superconducting magnetic energy storage system, these are all component we will discuss one by one in the next class. So, just we stop here.